from visitmysmokies.com. It's the Funcast, and I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. And with the seven-day forecast I'm going to show you in just a few moments, I may become the most light man in the area, but I'm going to start with a story about the most hated man. Yes, Radford Gatlin. Gatlin. Uh, He was famous for engaging in petty lawsuits with his neighbors. He and his wife arrived in White Oak Flats back in 1854. And once he was settled, he tried to organize a church. That didn't work because of his unpleasant manners (laughs) and unfavorable opinions, according to the history books. So he also uh, ended up opening a general store. In 1856, a post office was established inside of Gatlin's store, which led to the town being named Gatlinburg. What do you think? Poteetburg? I think it has a ring to it. You can read all about Radford in the travel tips section of visitmysmokies.com. We've got a recent story about him. You know, the last time around, I previewed some of the things that you could do for St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. Parties going on everywhere. The Island and Pigeon Forge is also celebrating St. Pat's Day with a huge event. Thursday, March 17th, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., the entire area lit up in green. And the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel and the Island Show Fountain will both have green lights to celebrate. Live entertainment, singers and dancers, and themed food at Yeehaw Brewing Company. And you can also get your Irish on at Timberwood Grill and Mellow Mushroom. Uh, We can celebrate St. Patrick's Day just by showing you the real wall that's behind me here (laughs) instead of the special effect. That's why I can't wear green to uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day when I'm talking to you. But you can make your plans by just typing in St. Patrick's Day in the search box and visit MySmokies.com. There's a lot going on. Hey, we were talking about food a moment ago. And speaking of it. Let's shine that big, bright, visit my Smokies light on one of the restaurant favorites in the area. There it is, the Old Mill Restaurant, a favorite with locals and visitors. Breakfast is a big time. You get stone ground corn grits, homemade biscuits, omelets, and more. Fried chicken or southern barbecue plate for lunch and dinner. It's right there on the banks of the Little Pigeon River. One of the most popular dining choices in the Smokies, so you probably won't want to allow a little extra time to uh, get in there. They serve over 700 slices of pecan pie each day, or do you say pecan pie? Let's take a peek at the seven-day forecast, and it is appetizing. We get our first days in the mid-70s here in the forecast. High on Monday, 50s, Tuesday, 60s, upper 60s, Wednesday, all kinds of sun right through Thursday when we hit 70. And we keep on going, although there'll be more clouds around. Mid-70s looks likely for Saturday and Sunday. By Sunday, it looks like we've got some rain chances, too. I'll take a fresh look at everything that's going on soon when you visit MySmokies.com.